Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving the first question from the first chapter of Mechanics of Material, Hibbler textbook, 8th edition. And in this question, we need to determine the resultant internal normal force acting on the cross-section through point A in each column. So we have two different columns in here. In the A1, we have the segment BC that has a weight of 180 pounds per foot and the segment CD has a weight of 250 pounds per foot. So we have to take into account the weight of each part of these members. And in the B part of the question, which we have the figure B on the right hand side, we have the column that has a mass of 200 kilogram per meter. I keep in mind that in the previous section we had weight and now in the B part we have mass so we have to keep in mind that the weight is equal to mass times acceleration of gravity which we know on earth we have 9.81 meter per square seconds so we're gonna uh, start with the free body diagram of each of these two so we have point A in each of them let's start with the A1 so basically we have the upper part and we have the bottom part so basically we're gonna do a section at point A so this is where our A is located and the forces that we have we have five kips on top we have two three kips on each side of the member BC and we obviously have the weight of each of them and we have the force that we are trying to figure out which I'm going to show it in red and from the figure since we are in equilibrium it has to be upward in order to cancel out the other one so we can call it fa so we're gonna do some of all forces in y direction is equal to zero this will be our positive direction so we have fa minus 5 minus 3 minus 3 and we have to figure out the weight of each member so if we want to go with the weight of the uh, member bc we know that the member bc has a weight of 180 pounds per foot so we have minus 180 pound per foot and since all other units are in kips we have to do a unit conversion in here and get rid of foot two so we need kips in here and foot and pound in the denominator we know one kips is equal to 1000 pound and the length of the bc is 10 foot that way we can cancel out pound we can cancel foot and we're going to end up with kips unit which is what we're looking for so that's for member bc we also have member the half of actually is cd so we know that one is 250 pound per foot so times we have kips over pound in order to get rid of pound unit and the distance that we have is the four feet in here and this is going to be equal to zero our fa would be five plus three plus three plus we can cancel out these ones we get 1.8 plus 250 times four is a thousand so we'll get one and if we calculate this, we have basically 11 plus 2.8, which is 13.8 kips. So that's the answer for the A part. Let's move on to the B part. And if we look at the B part, again, we're going to do this section in here. And we have our column in here. So we have four forces in here. Each of them are, so the top two ones are six. And we have two, 4.5, so six, six. All the units are in kilonewton. So we have to watch for the units, 4.5. 4.5 and again we have the weight of the beam which we need to figure out and the force fa that we were looking for same as the previous part so again we go with the sum of all forces in y direction is equal to zero which will be fa minus 6 times 2 minus 4.5 times 2 and we have also one force in here on top that i missed in here is the one in here so minus 8 and the last one is the weight if we get back in here as i mentioned at the beginning of the question we have the mass in here and we're looking for the weight so we have 200 kilogram per meter and we're gonna multiply that by g in order to get our weight so 9.81 meter per square second this is gonna give us the weight but still we have a meter in here at the denominator that we need to get rid of and that would be the length of this beam from here to this so it's basically three times three meter 
so we can get rid of this meter and we know kilogram times meter per square second is going to give us the Newton force. Based on the Newton's law, F is equal to M times A. We're going to get our F in Newton if we have mass in kilogram and the force in meter per square second. So don't get confused with this M and the other one. So that's going to give us the Newton, but all the other units are in kilonewton. So here we need to divide it by a thousand in order to get it in kilonewton. So since that's the Newton force, we know one kilonewton is equal to one thousand newton. So this will be equal to zero, which is coming from our equilibrium equation. And if we want to calculate Fa, we basically have 12 plus 4.5 times 2 is 9 plus 8 plus 200 times 9.81. So let's calculate this one. So 200 times 9.81 times 3. And we're going to divide it by 1,000 in order to get it in kilonewton. So that's going to give us 5.886. And all we need to do is just to add, we're going to add that plus, this will be equal to 29. So the final answer for this would be 34.89 kilonewton, which would be the final answer for this question. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. Again, this was the first question from this textbook. Now let me know which textbook do you guys want me to solve more in this channel. So if you look at the playlist, you see different textbooks that I'm trying to solve questions. So feel free to comment your preference in the next videos and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.